I want to show you some changes I made, some improvements to the Marty hoverboard and the Pitbull. And some of these new additions also go for the NoTech, Rising Sun, and Odd Man Outboards. Made some improvements. I'm actually um, not changing the prices of the kits, uh, but there's going to be a bunch of new parts. So let me show you what's going on. Let me start with the Marty board. The foot pad now includes the fuzzy strap and the material for the foot strap, the two shades of green. I'm actually able now to laser cut my own fabric, so I'm including those in each kit. So the fuzzy pink strap and fabric for the foot pad. On the Marty, the decal set includes that pinstripe that goes along the side. So that's the change on the Marty. Bunch of changes on the Pitbull. Each of these hook-on assemblies is wrapped with parachute cord. You can actually unwind this if you wanted to. It's not all glued in here. The end is secured and then I painstakingly wrapped these guys. So each one is now covered in fabric. Uh, you've got a two inch foot strap with a two inch parachute buckle. You have laser cut screens. I never used to include these in the kit. Now I will include laser cut screens. They're really easy to shape. I also have new additions for the rockets. There's a laser cut detail plate at the end of the rocket there. That is brand new. That used to just be flat. But during this build up, as I said, when I go back and redo these things years later, I always make improvements. So now the kit will include two laser cut end caps and also will include, if I can see it in there, two laser cut vents that are inside these rockets right there. So both of those will be included with your kit. Each of the five hoverboard kits now also includes, free of charge, the laser cut decals. These are a brushed aluminum decal that goes on the top of each hover pad. Those used to be an extra fee. I'm just including them free now. So you get two with each kit. And I don't know if you can see the shine on these things, but they're really, they're really glossy and they're tough. So instead of having to paint these, now you just put on this decal, easy peasy. So this is removable. The two rockets are attached to the brace and the brace is attached here with um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. So the seven screws come off. This whole assembly comes out. The horn at the front of the board is attached with magnets. Pretty tough attachment. So that now is easy to disassemble for shipping. And that's it for the improvements on these hoverboards. I think they're really remarkable. They're easy to assemble. Here's a closer look at the Pitbull add-ons. You've got your two vinyl hover pad covers, two inch parachute buckle, 2 inch webbing, a big length of black polyester parachute cord, laser cut parts for the front of the Pitbull rocket, these two are the back of the Pitbull rocket, and your laser cut screens. This will save you a lot of money, these, these screens. These are laser cut in styrene. They're really easy to bend because you've got to bend a corner and then bend a curve. For the Pitbull, for just a little bit extra, I can include a laser cut foot grip pad, self-adhesive. And here are your add-ons for the Marty hoverboard, your two vinyl silver covers, green fabric, lighter green fabric, and the fuzzy pink foot strap. You can visit these replicas and see how they were made at my website. You can also visit my Instagram and Facebook page. Thanks for watching.